Hey, how's it going, y'all? Got another video here for you. Important one about uh, removing chlorine and chloramines out of your water before you feed your plants the water. So, this is a super cheap, super easy, super quick way to remove chlorines and chloramines. If you'll notice, I don't have the air pump and the air stones and stuff in the water today because a lot of controversy talking about removing the chlorines and chloramines out of the water. Chloramines are chlorine and ammonia bonded together. And it's really hard for this bond to dissipate in 24 hours through aeration. So there's a lot of controversy online, a lot of controversy in the community. So I just wanted to show this quick, easy, cheap method I found to removing and neutralizing the chlorines and chloramines in your water in 10 minutes. Okay? It's vitamin C powder, y'all. Get some vitamin C powder. You probably got some around. A thousand milligrams will neutralize 25 to 50 gallons of water. So that's about a half tablespoon for this package. And I take about a half tablespoon and I will sprinkle it in there. And we'll give it a little swirl. And that'll do it. Vitamin C powder, y'all. Super cheap, super easy, super quick. Takes about 10 minutes for that to neutralize the chlorine and chloramines in the water. And vitamin C is good for your plants, too. So there you go. It's just a win, win, win all the way around. You can't beat it. Get you some vitamin C powder. It's like it was, uh, like... Eight dollars for that bag of vitamin C powder and it'll last you a long time super fast you won't have to worry about doing a 24-hour aeration you still can if you want to but this is just another way to ensure you get the chlorines and chloramines neutralized in the water so that you can you know make compost teas and and feed your, you know, especially when you're dealing with microbiology, y'all, you know, the microbiology in the soil and the microbes, the chlorines and chloramines are very bad. They'll, they'll kill all of your microbiology in your soil. Okay. So we need to neutralize these chlorines and chloramines in the water that they put. Now, unless you've got, uh, you know, like uh, well water or spring water coming up. Most of us in the city, I'm in Chicago, so we got a lot, a lot of uh, chlorine, chloramines in our water, you know, in our city tap water. And, uh, you know, you could even do it with your RO water if you want to, just to make sure you got it all out of there. You know, they make these uh, vitamin C filters. You can get vitamin C filters. They, you know, a lot of people even put this in their bathtub. When they're taking a bath and stuff like that, they'll take a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of this, put it in the tub, just so that they're not not absorbing all those chlorine and chloramines in their in their body, you know. So I just wanted to share this tip with y'all. I uh, hope you all having a great holiday weekend with Halloween coming around the corner, and I just want to uh, wish all my subscribers the best uh, Halloween ever, and I love y'all. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. I hope this tip helps y'all. 